Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this fire badge or emblem and, and want to have single line rungs and then a single line font. And that font's not too bad. It could just be cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, we're going to do the ladder rung. And I really don't understand why they want single line, but we're going to do it. We're just going to delete all the lines that are in between. Just make sure you get on the line. And then we're going to take that line, hold down the shift key and grab that line, go up to effects, blend, and we're going to blend them seven times. And there you have equal ladder rungs. You know, you could do the same thing with a rectangle that I think might even look better. Um, I don't really know why he's doing a um, single line and I... He's drawing in 500 points, so that's good. You could do the same thing with a rectangle. Let's make it a little bit longer. Let's take that rectangle and get it on the same angle as that other one. And then take that line away, hopefully. Yep. And then you can just take this line away and make a duplicate of this, Control D. You've got your duplicate distance set on quarter quarter, which I don't like, but I'm going to leave that alone this time. And then grab that one, control shift, grab that one, and blend them the seven time. And I think that might look better. I don't know. It's your, it's your call. And then he talked about single line fonts. And so I'm going to do it to my copy so I won't mess his up while I've already done the latter. But we need to uh, text the path, and we're going to grab the three point curve line. And we're going to go from there to there. We could do this several different ways, but we're just trying to kind of get that path. Now I'm going to nudge that path out of the way. Let me just delete these. I'm going to set my nudge factor on eight inches because that's a little over seven. And I'm going to grab that line, hopefully, and nudge it over. Now I'm going to take a font that's pretty close to that one. Matter of fact, I've already converted, so I'm going to retype it. And I'm going to hit, I'm going to make it all in capital letters. And I'm going to, if I could spell, that's about the right size. And I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, look at it, maybe a little bit bigger. And then let's text the path. So grab the text, text the path. And see, you've got so much going on, we need to, Need to zoom in here and be a little closer when we're doing this. So grab the text, text, text the path, and put it on this path. Now what you can do is I'd go ahead and go to object and let's select the whole thing. Go to object and break the text apart. Get rid of the line. Then we're going to take that text and turn it into a bitmap. Convert to bitmap black and white. Then we're gonna, I'm gonna make a copy of it and move it over just in case we mess up. Then I'm gonna go to bitmap and trace, outline trace, line art. And it's gonna trace the center. And then we can nudge that out of the way and here, there's our new word. Let's go ahead and um, let's nudge it into place. So let's get rid of this fire. He did a pretty good job. I don't know where he got that from, but we can fix that. Now we're a little bit big, maybe a little bit uh, too big and maybe not in the middle exactly. But what I would do to make this font look better, first I would go up and go to object and convert it to a curve. And then I'd go to object and ungroup it. Now we have individual letters. And then just take the shape tool and I would start out by re removing some nodes, and I'm just going to bring that one over. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to delete that line or that node and that node. I'm going to delete those two nodes. I'm going to delete that node. I'm going to delete that outside node. And let's see what we can do here. I would actually bring this over. There's actually two lines there. Delete that node. And then what you could do to... You could grab those two nodes 
right click, turn it into a line, and it's going to make it straight. And then I would just, I had both nodes picked, so unpick it, and then you could bring that F down. Delete that node, that looks pretty good. Take that node, shift key, select that node, right click to a line, and then I would bring that. Once again, I had both selected. Unselect it so you can just get the one. That looks pretty good. The, the, that looks good. Uh, the R is going to be a little bit more difficult because there's uh, a lot of things going on, but I'm going to delete that one and that one. Try to delete all the nodes you don't need. Uh, like there's several nodes right there together. I'm going to actually take a, I'm going to delete that line and then just take a two point line. Hopefully it draws in the same thickness as that. And there you go. Get back to the shape tool, delete those two nodes, those two nodes. Now you can grab these two nodes and right click and turn them into a line. That looks pretty good and bring your, maybe bring your E in a little bit. And then we need to probably grab those two, right click, turn them into a line. And that makes it just look more like a, same thing on the R, except for you can't do the curve part. Um, we get rid of that node. It's a little trickier. You can grab those two, right click, turn them into a line. You can actually delete that node now and maybe bring that R, delete these nodes delete these nodes, and it just all depends on the way you want it to look. You could grab that node, hold down the shift, and grab that node and right click, turn it into a line. And then the other ones just do the same thing. You know, delete that node, uh, turn these into a line. Sometimes you're gonna mess up here if we do it, but it didn't, didn't hurt us there, didn't hurt us there. And then maybe just delete some of these nodes here. That looks a little funny. So you just back up and like delete those two nodes and those two nodes. I think it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of correction you could do. Um, you know, on this, you could, you know, move that out of the way. Maybe even delete that and see what happens. That looks good. And there you have a single line font. I would just check this. You know, delete that node and then they should be a line. Right, select them both, right click to align. I'll be kind of interested on why he, uh, and I'm not exactly in the center. Um, you know, we, we could rotate that together. You could group this together, control G, kind of go to the center of the page or center your item, and you could rotate that around a little bit to wherever you want it. And again, I made it probably too big. But with that, with the ladder, he said something about the hydrant. Um, I get anxious to start the video and I don't read everything. Uh, but the same thing, this, I think this would look better for the hydrant. So we're going to do the same thing with the blend we did. You know, you could, he's already done it, I think, on this. They're not exactly perfect. So you could grab those, grab those two, come off the page, grab those two and just blend them one time. And that'll put it in the center. Or you could do the same trick with the, with the rectangle. Now in the original, the original hydrant, he has a couple of circles. So we can put a couple of circles and that's really, really easy. And I would go ahead and start with a new circle. You can see it's a little bit off. I could 0.32 of a an ellipse. So I'm gonna go 0.32. And then that way it's a perfect circle. Put it in the spot, it should grasp to the center. Nudge it out of the way for a second. Grab that one, then grab our one we nudged. It's way over there. But that way, it, it's a perfect circle. Control D to make a dupe. This is where you want to set your nudge factor or your nudge distance to zero, zero. Because that way, we can go right on top, hold down the shift key, and you can make another circle. And then you can control D again and make that next circle. I must not have hit Control D. Good. Looks more like a fire hydrant. I'd clean up the fire hydrant a little bit. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to read his email, and I'm going to show you maybe how you can clean this fire hydrant up a little bit. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.